So, um, Mr. Right. Zaire, if you want to start, and then we'll go to uh, Mr. Ali. Well, thank you, Mr. Zaya, for your question. Uh, we had a very good conversation uh, with APAC, and uh, 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 I think uh, uh, I'll, I'll in part answer your question by sharing what I shared with, with the, the community, which is that when I was in India, I pressed the Indian government very hard of what was happening in Kashmir, the detentions, the internet blackout, um, and a variety of other uh, actions that were, in my view, repressive. I also raised some very uh, tough questions about the National Registry Program, which I thought was uh, an attempt to uh, strip citizenship rights uh, from the particular segments uh, of Indian society. Uh, and uh, have continued to follow that up with a letter uh, when I came back with a letter to Secretary Pompeo about what was happening in Kashmir. And more recently had the uh, Indian ambassador to the United States in a conversation with him uh, raise these issues once again. And so uh, I have had conversations uh, with the, the Biden administration we are looking forward to their appointment of a ambassador uh, to Pakistan, which we have not had in several years since Ambassador Hale left to become the undersecretary. We have not had somebody uh, to represent us um, in uh, Islamabad. We need to have that. Uh, we also need an assistant secretary uh, for this region in the world, which we have not had fulfilled for the last several years. I urge Secretary Blinken uh, to do that, and I believe he will. Uh, and we will also use uh, our role as the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee to highlight uh, the uh, situation in Kashmir, as well as to press the administration to raise these questions on a government to government level. Charlie. Uh uh, thank you, Senator. Uh, Honored to talk to you. Uh, as you know, uh, uh, President Biden has told the world that the United States is back. That, that means that uh, the United States is resuming its leadership role to promote world peace by helping to resolve lingering disputes that actually create tensions. And as you have already said, I talked about the Kashmir dispute. But my question is that in the past, United States played mediatory role to resolve this dispute. You, you remember uh, Ambassador Harriman uh, and Ambassador Rostov, who, who went to on missions to India and Pakistan, and they, they, they tried to find a solution. Do you think, sir, that the U.S. should resume its mediatory efforts and appoint a special envoy to push for a settlement of Kashmir dispute for, the, for which a, state, a framework already exists in the form of U.N. Security Council resolutions. Well, thank you for the question. Uh, I do, uh, first of all, I'm glad to see the recent border ceasefire pledge between Pakistan and India was agreed to, but obviously a lot of work remains. Um, and uh, after years of absence from the region, the U.S. needs to re-engage um, with uh, Pakistan uh, in many different dimensions, and also, of course, 
more robustly uh, with India. I, I don't know whether a special envoy will be the necessary ingredient, because if we have an assistant secretary of state for the region, they may be the person that can play that role in the shuttle diplomacy that may be necessary between both countries. I do believe that it is important for the United States to play a role to find a pathway forward between two nuclear states and two states that are important to us in the region, especially as we deal with China. Uh, and uh, that's why I stressed earlier the importance of naming an ambassador and then naming an assistant secretary so that we can actually be robustly engaged in the region and can robustly engage between India and Pakistan as well. I think it's important. And I think and I hope in a relatively short order, uh, the administration will have that opportunity when we receive these nominations. I will be looking forward to uh, promote them quickly to the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, pass through uh, the uh, Senate by confirmation and then move them uh, as one of the first orders of business to to get on this question of both what's happening in Kashmir uh, and how do we find a long term resolution between two important countries. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator. I had in mind uh, the, the special envoy that you have on Afghanistan, uh, Zalmin Khalilzad, and I thought yes. A, a person like a, 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 an ambassador like uh, Zalmi Khalilzad or anybody else that could help in pushing for a settlement. And 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 that may very well uh, be the ultimate uh, way in which we can move uh, and create progress forward. The only thing is, I don't want to undermine the possibility of a full assistant secretary of state bringing the weight not just of a bilateral relationship but of a regional relationship to bring all to bear uh, if the administration believes that a special envoy would be necessary to achieve it i certainly would be supportive of it uh thank you all right one thank more. you thank you both thank you because senator you. does have to get going i appreciate it thank you, thank you, thank you very much thank you, thank you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you very much. We have